Hi! Today we are going to know some facts from under the sea. Watery facts! Now, this is a beaver. The beaver lives on wet, marshy lands. It builds a dam with tree trunks and branches, which it cuts down with its strong front teeth. Now for the big fish. Do you know which of these fish is the biggest? Which, uh, which one is the fiercest predator? Do they live in the river, sea or the lake? Okay, let's know each of them. This is the paddlefish. It lives in slow waters of the Mississippi River. It grows to 2.2 meters and feeds on tiny creatures called plankton. This is carp, but we have to get its sticker and stick it. Yay, this is the sea creatures we're gonna learn about. Now carp lives in lakes and slow rivers in Europe and Asia. They can measure up to 1.2 meters and they eat plants and small creatures such as frogs, seashell, seashell, no, shellfish, and small fish. Okay, this one here is called the pike. The pike is a fierce hunter which lives in fresh water in Europe. It waits for its prey to swim past before it pounces. It can grow as large as 1.5 meters. Now this is a scary fish. Okay, this is the African lungfish. Lives in gently flowing rivers in Africa. It grows to 1.5 meters and is a predator, eating mollusks and shellfish. It can survive out of the water buried in mud for months. Yes, this is one scary fish. Okay, this one also is a sticker. I'm going to show you now the carp and the stargy, stargon. Okay, but let us first know some information about the stargon. It lives in northern oceans, although it swims back to the river to spawn. S to spawn means to give babies, you know, baby fishes. It feeds on plankton. Who also feeds on plankton? The paddlefish. Yes. And can grow to an enormous three meter long. Okay, catfish. We are familiar with the catfish, the one with the whiskers here. It's a big freshwater fish. Some of them reach an enormous size, making them a great prize for fishermen. They are named for the whiskers on their chin. See, whiskers. Now let us find the carp and the stargon. Let's find them out. The carp. This is the carp. Right? Yes. And the stargon fish. The stargon fish. Stargon fish. Can you see it? Again, let's take a look. Again. Stargon. You see? It's really tall. As we can as we said, three meters long. Yes! I don't think it will fit in our aquarium, you see.
Okay, another creature here is the watery fact about the mudkipper is an amphibious. It's not just a fish, it's an amphibious fish. You know amphibious like frogs? It lives in Australia. It can breathe out of water and uses its fins to crawl around on the mud when the tide goes out. You know, it's like having a frogfish, you know, but it's called a mudkipper. And this one is a game of sharks. Okay, so we have our shark. Can anyone tell me what type of shark is this? Okay, we have this one. And we have also the shark. And we have a third type of sharks, yes. It's eyes. Yes, so we are going to play the shark attack using our three sharks. Okay, the shark won! Yes! Yes! Yes, the great white shark! Yay! We got a winner! Okay, who was the odd one? Of course, we know this is a dolphin, but also it needs a sticker. And this one is a whale, we can find it also here. Yes, this one. So, which of them is the odd one? I'm not going to answer this one. I'm going to let you find out and answer by yourself. And we are just going to skip to the water effect. Piranha, yes, lives in South American rivers, including the Amazon. They are small fish but have extremely sharp teeth and strong jaws for eating flesh. They are really scary, you know, really scary little fish. So it's not about size, you know, it's not, you know, actually this orca here, we have one similar. You know, there's a movie called Willie the Whale, it's about orcas. I guess it's called Willie the Whale. I'm scared from this small one and not the orca. <laughs> okay, we have one more here, what we fact about the sailfish. It's the fastest fish in the world. It can reach speed of 110 kilometers per hour. It raises the sail on its back to make it look bigger. Yes, exactly. Yes. Oh, we like them. Yes. So thank you. This was our under the sea tour. And I'm going to do the forest next. Yes, I chose the under the sea because my view now is the sea so yes thank you see you later bye